Hi there. <clears throat> My friend Robert says that the only thing he won't allow them to take away from him is his ability to give everything away. Sitting in Dana Ward's kitchen in Cincinnati, transected by urgencies we will only seem to be present to in the live stream of police unreadied, when what we want and what we're demanding is nothing less than the world. Fugue of world-ending powers, no apocalypto Mayan calendar shit, whose 90s will come back with all the force of Hamlet's ghost, reminds me I am a child of that future past. Like Brian repeats those lines about Hong Kong banking in his book, origins come into focus, traumatic scenes of our appearance. We are the symptoms of endless commons never granted, never upheld, blocked forms of intimacy, dreaming of John of Runnymede forced to sign the Magna Carta by his lords. Whatever antinomies condition the distribution of the sensible, a poetic dreams this. I thou becomes the Facebook thread, the Twitter feed just above some threshold of what we could feel positing the prosodic or organs required to sense X. The people were always an emanation of lost time, displaced space, placeless places. The lyricism of body is no longer physically present to us. Like the people's microphone, not only amplifies, but inscribes, I began to imagine a generation founded on direct political processes. Someone suddenly taking agenda items in the ruins of consumer culture, calling out points of procedure in a mall or supermarket. This community that isn't one, singular multiple, makes possible a horizon where the people will recognize themselves, where we will take back everything that already belonged to us. These are a few poems from a manuscript called uh, The New Us that begins um, with a longing for collective action and ends with the occupations. The hegemon say, mouth to hand, what remains from Gnostus, surfeit like surfaces flash exilic, hand in mouth, mothers in excess, recessed like the shore just moved, tongue in hand, those sayings we say, to soothe, not smooth, tautology over. Inflame these sayings, what they say, have struck, mark of the mouth, a drift in flame. Who are we called into being by being alone? Who moves us, mother? Father, where have you gone to be like all fathers? Where have you gone? The sun used to rise in your spirit, now just a notion, puns on disuse, can't see the words for their truth, goes up in flames, like this is the open we're discovered in, an open mouth whose contents are flame, open quotation marks like wings in air, never taking flight, they just take and take. Singing disuse, what won't we estrange? So abstract these words, they must be singular. No God ever suffered like you suffer, entered into a history of stutters of mispronounced names, shit like the hegemon say, when it's riled to take names. Write unusefully, a sometimes lyrically impossible burden nations irritate, like films we repeat, to collaborate with the present because one is not here to say it. Too much transcendent talk, too much flame is not presence. You are burning me forever. Father, you are burning. I just woke up. History exceeds every vision I've ever had. 
Of you, I am not you. Through you, I relate. Pronouns shift. This is different than removing them into allegory. The community of those who had to write, engendered by gerunds, endangered by justice. That was for um, Teresa Hakyun Cha. Where it proceeds to the rupture is experimental where it proceeds to the rupture of the cultural model. Lights were struck and bitter coffee served, interrupted every half hour for feedback, how to share an experience that produced such profound changes in oneself. Art making, an ambiguous expression of personal and collective desires, a glance or tear, immediate intervention, the modulation of affect in the face of that threat. Seattle happened here, then was foreclosed. What's the use of aesthetics if you don't have eyes to see? They drank the bitter coffee, interrupted the projections to bear witness, the affective modulations that won't be represented without eyes to see them with, who drank out of empathy the affective modulation of our ambiguous desires neither personal nor collective, yet political all of them before any of this was subjective or in a white cube. Because these tears turn to, no one will see. Things you heard, you are trying to remember them hard. No one will know the things you heard when what we remain are powers. Post-expectant, the heart at work, what should we name its book lovingly? Messianic aspect of a place from which to begin. Actual birds drenched, withdrawn from post-expectant. Springtimes, somewhere else there are worlds, somewhere other than, which like William James's polyhedral, turns thousands of miles above our infancy. Blue and rarefied, subtle like a conversation, the world does not actually begin. It begins and ends suspended by friendship, by enmity, announcing the proximity of end times, where it proceeds to the rupture of the cultural model. Thank you.